Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel SBC Panther. And in this video, we are going to talk about implicit sharing, what implicit implicit sharing is, how we can implement, and in which case we can implement implicit sharing. So before we go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel because uh, I've seen that there are more than 70% people who are watching without subscribe. So please uh, do uh, do subscribe this channel. And uh, now let's start. So as you can see here, I am in my computer screen. We are going to talk about what implicit sharing in Salesforce is. So we'll talk about what is implicit sharing. Then we are talking about how we are going to implement, and then we are going to see the demo as well. So implicit sharing is a sharing where uh, if you have access to your parent record, you have automatically access to the child record. So if we see that this kind of implicit sharing is available in case of master detail relationship that means when you have access to your child record you will automatically get uh, sorry when you have access to your parent record you will automatically get access to the child record no matter who have created this child record right so how to implement again to implement this we uh, we know that Whenever there is a relationship of master detail between two objects, the child object OWD is always going to be controlled by parent. So that's how we are going to implement. We are going to make our parent OWD as a private, and then we are going to our child OWD as a controlled by parent so that we can implement that. So let's quickly see how we are going to do that in our Salesforce environment. So this is our Salesforce environment. Now what we are going to see is first thing we will see what is the OWD for my object which is account, and then I'm also going to create one object, custom object which is going to be invoice under this account. So and the relationship between these two objects is going to be master detail. That means account is parent and invoice is child. So first let's quickly do create a record or not record create an object over here so go to object manager and from this drop down select custom object and i'm going to create an object called invoice and if there is already an object inside my salesforce with the same name i'm going to use the same first let's uh, first let's quickly try to save this and you can see here that we have got a custom object called invoice now i'm going to create this Go to the field in relationships and create a new field where it will be a master detail field and account is going to be the parent for our custom invoice object. So from the drop down select account, click on next and then leave this whatever it is having over here. We don't need to make any changes. Again, click on next, then again next, next and save. Make sure that you have added as a related list. Go ahead and click on save. So now what we did is we created an invoice record and we, we have got this just quickly let's create one more field which is uh, going to be a type of currency why we are adding this or uh, what is the amount so basically it is just a, a simple demo that i'm going to walk you through here so we don't need to worry about you can even create any other fields if you wanted to have some valid fields which you can add into the invoices like invoice uh, what is the amount quantity and all those things now we have got this object next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our sharing settings from the setup home page search for sharing settings under the security you will be seeing that sharing settings click on that it is going to take you to the organization wide default sharing settings where you can so if you see here for account and contact it is a private and if we search for our custom object that we have created so it is invoice right if you go to here we got invoice and it is controlled by parent so automatically when you create a relationship master detail the child object will always be having the access uh, all the access of the parent object so now we have got this next thing what i'm going to do is let's quickly create a new account here i'm going to say it is a business account click on next and then i'm going to talk about here i will say that uh, implicit sharing 
and if you have some parent account you can select if you want if you don't want you can just uh, have some random values for the fields you wanted to have if you don't want it to have you can just go ahead and click on save as soon as you click on save you will see the record has been created you will also see the success message and now here what we need to do is we just need to go to related section under the related what we need to do is we'll just scroll down we'll try to figure out if we have got the invoices over here or we don't have invoices under this layout so what we need to do is we need to again go to object manager and from the object manager what we'll do go to the accounts and we need to change the page layout so that we can add our related list into the account layout which is invoice so we are here select related list and here in the search box just search for invoice so we have got invoices over here it was not showing for us into the page layout so we just need to make sure that what page layout we are using for this a particular account or what we can do is we can just go ahead and add the invoice related list for all the remaining three page layouts as well so we don't need to worry about that which page layout we are using for that particular record so we just verified that all these uh, components have this invoices uh, uh, kind of things which are already added over here we'll just quickly go ahead onto the related section and we'll see if the invoice is here if it is not uh, there is a known issue for this um, i can't recall why this is not here uh, if i found the link for that known issue i'm definitely going to show you basically i'm definitely going to share the link under the description of this video but uh, for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to classic where i'll be seeing that related list added under the page layout you'll be seeing that i have got invoice what i'll do is i will create one more invoice over here and i'll say that one two three and some number here i just saved it for this implicit sharing account so what I have, uh, what I did is I created an account record and I also created an invoice record for that account here, which is one invoice, right? Now what we need to do is basically we need to share this record. So let's quickly share this record, only the account record. So this record is already shared with these two users, like John Smith and Security Control. So if I log in with any of these user i will be able to see this account record as well as i will be able to see that invoice record which is related to this particular account which has been created by me as an amit singh but i can access either using john smith or security control so let's go ahead and log in with this user so i am here under the user let me go to user detail page and then I will just go ahead quickly login using this login button. If you are not able to see this login, what you need to do is in the quick search box just type for login access policies. You will see here we have got login access policies. Open it into a new tab and make sure that this checkbox is enabled for you and then click on save. And after you enable that setting, you will be able to see this login button. Go ahead, click on login. And as soon as you click on login, you will be logged in as that user which is John Smith. Let's quickly switch to classic and under the classic we are going to see how it, this account is going to show us. So we got here implicit sharing under the list you can see here oh, where is that invoice that related list is not showing here yeah that related list is not showing over here because there might be possibilities like we haven't given that object level access to the profile of this user so if you don't have object level access you will definitely not be able to see the record we are definitely going to verify this we'll just go to a standard user and we'll see if we have given the object level access to the invoice as well as we have also given the object le uh, field level access to all those invoice fields permission for this object which is invoices so what we need to do is basically we need to give the permission using a permission set so we will see if this user already have a permission set assigned to this if not we are going to create one permission set so we'll first go to what are all the users we have so we have got this john smith i'm going to open this user and this user we will see if 
this user have yeah this user have one permission i'm going to just go ahead edit the same permission provide the object and field level permission for invoices and then again go ahead and log in using that user and we will be able to see that. so again here we also have seen one more a scenario which is uh, usually asked in interview so what is that scenario is they say that if they have access to parent record they don't have access to the child record both the objects are related with master detail what happens if the user have access to the master record they will not be able to see the child record because they don't have any access at a record or at a object level right so i'm going to remove this permission view all and modify all and rest of these permissions are going to be here just go ahead and click on save once you have provided this permission like this uh, permission set has been saved changes we made and now we will be going to log in and then we will this time we should be able to see that related list under this account and we should also be able to see that new invoice which has been created by that user the user who was logged in earlier which is amit you can see there is one invoice one two three now if i go ahead and click on one two four and try to provide some random values save it i'm getting some error you don't have this level of access to perform you requested so basically i don't have access to create the invoice i believe under this account because uh, i'm not sure what what the issue is but basically if you have the access uh, and you can create the invoice you can definitely so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new account here so let's see what happens i'm going to create a new account it is going to be the business account i have access to record type and i'll say that uh, um let's say that uh, salesforce.com go ahead and save this now i have saved this account next thing we will do is we will create a new invoice over here and we will say that 124 whatever we have got 24 is the amount and now i have able to create this invoice let's go ahead and log in uh, uh, logged out as a john smith and then as an admin we are going to see the account that user has created uh, which is uh, i believe uh, we have got new not last week we have got new this week and then we got this salesforce.com and here you can see we've got one two three five four this is the invoice that has been created by john smith you can see here the user is a different user there is one more thing as we're talking about this implicit sharing i'll show you one more thing here whenever you have created an object call uh, you have created an object this is uh, the child in case of master detail there is one field which you cannot query and that field is owner id why because child object cannot have an owner and you can see here you don't have owner id even if you try to query this owner id field let me show you here what will happen you will get an error for owner id so go to the developer console and try to have id you can have name and then you can have owner id from invoice try to execute this you will see that there is no such column in this field basically you will get the error because there is no owner if you wanted to see who is the owner you need to go to account first because account is the parent and from that you need to go to owner id if you go here you will see that there is now you got no so that is also one interview question where they ask what if i wanted to query owner id for the child object which is related with the master detail list so this is all about implicit sharing and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to put into the comment section and also please don't uh, forget to like share subscribe this channel and also don't forget to join our telegram channel the link is there in the description